All right, welcome back to Pokemon Blue. Um, so we have quite a lot to do in this episode. Um, we are going to go down Cycling Road, and then we are going to come back from Cycling Road, and we are going to um, go down to Fuchsia the other way, like through bunch of routes and stuff so we're going to be battling a lot of trainers today um and that's pretty much it we're just going to be <laughs> walking through areas and uh battling a lot of trainers so but first i'm going to get some items for some things that are coming up um and then and then we'll start moving along here all right, so we're going to go west out of Saffron, through Celadon, and Cycling Road is on the other side of Celadon City. There is a little stop we have to make on the way, though. Um, there's something we haven't gotten yet that we could totally use and is going to make this episode go by a lot faster, at least for me, not so much for you guys. So we're going to go over and get it real quick. So if we go up here, we cut this tree. We make our way through. Who's this guy? How'd you get in? Good effort. <laughs> There's a little house up here. If we talk to this lady... Oh, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. HM2, which is fly. So we're going to use the TM for fly. I just bought 99 Great Balls, as you can see up there. <laughs> so Firo's the only one who can learn fly, of course, which is why we got Firo in the first place. And we're going to get rid of Fury Attack. I still haven't tried Razor Wind, so I'm not really sure what it does, but it sounded cool. All right, so then right below us is Cycling Road, as you can see, a bunch of guys on bikes down there. Um, but before we get to Cycling Road, before it'll let us, we have to get that Snorlax out of the way. So that's what we're going to do, and I'm actually going to try to catch him. Um, I'm not going to keep him on the party or anything, but I am going to try to catch him, because that's what I usually do. I usually catch both of them, so <laughs> just for fun. Um... I just have to... Oh, I almost cut Snorlax. Um, no. Alright, so I'm going to put Jolteon up front. And we'll do it that way. A sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. So I'm going to use the Poke Flute. Lando played the Poke Flute. And Snorlax woke up and attacked in a grumpy rage. Oh no, not Snorlax. Wild Snorlax, level 30. Alright, so I am going to Thunder Wave first. Because when they have, um... When they have... Status effects on them, or status problems, um... They are caught easier. And look at that. That's like the perfect move. Alright, can I catch him? Let's try it. Nope. Darn, the Pokemon broke, three, broke free. Let's keep throwing him. Nope, keep throwing him. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to skip till I catch it, because it's just going to be a lot of me doing the same thing over and over. And there we go! There he is! Snorlax was caught. Very lazy, just eats and sleeps, and it's rotund bulk builds. 
It becomes steadily more slothful. <laughs> Do you want to give a nickname? Nope, not about nicknames right now. Alright, so we can go through here, and we have a bike, so we'll just automatically be put on the bike. Now, this is going to be an area where Kadabra is going to really get some levels going on. What do you want? Biker. And it's going to be a lot of poison, a lot of fighting types. So, Kadabra is just going to like wipe the floor with this whole area. And he's going to get a lot of level ups. But that's going to be a really good thing. Because we need Kadabra for the next gym leader that we're going to fight. Which will be in the next episode. But, uh... Just in case, you know, I because I don't know... If anybody hasn't played this, I don't want to spoil who the next gym leader is. But if you have, you know. And you know who I'm boosting Kadabra up for. <laughs> nice bike. Hand it over. I don't think so, dude. Cue ball. Because he's bald. So I am going to switch around a little bit, like, for anybody who uses fighting types, I will switch to, um, Firo after the first one, just because, um, that's going to save Kadabra some PP on this, and also keep Firo up at least near Kadabra's level, so I don't have to do as much leveling up between this episode and next episode. So actually, I'm going to, oh, that's normal, it's not even flying type. Dang it, and I <laughs> I put that on there just on a whim, thinking it would be great, but I guess not. <laughs> just going to peck all these fighting types to death. Defeated cue ball. Knockout. All right, nothing back here. Come out and play, little mouse. Cue ball. And through this route, and especially in the next route that we do to get down to Fuchsia City, um... If I ever have to like go back and heal or something because I run out of PP or somebody manages to get hit enough that they're low on HP, um, I will cut to go back and heal and then I'll just... You might not even notice, but if you notice like a little skip or something somewhere, it's because I went back to heal in between battles. You little rat! Hey, you just bumped me! Oh, yeah. Why wouldn't I? Biker wants to fight. Actually, for Weezing, since he's pretty high level, too, I'm going to go with Psychic. Because that's a little, it's a little strong. All right. Yeah. Alright, make our way around. Beating all these guys. I'm feeling hungry and mean. Me too sometimes, you know? Hangry is a real thing. <laughs> Machop, level 33. But Machop... I'm just gonna side beam him. We'll see how it, how it does. Yeah, see, still one shot. Kadabra's got the best special in the game. <laughs> Bad, bad, bad! Oh, there's more. Sure, I'll go. Go where? Where are we going? Oh, to battle. Okay. I got it now. <laughs> 
Yeah, all these guys are going to be super easy because everybody down the entire route has either poison or fighting types. There's there's no other type of Pokemon from trainers on this route. Now the other route we have to go through, that's a different story because there are tons of different kinds of trainers with different kinds of Pokemon. Um, which Jolteon's going to be useful for most of them. But that also means we're going to have to go back and forth quite a bit to heal and all that stuff. So. Yay, Kadabra grew to level 45. Don't make me mad. I think I'm probably too late on that one. But, um. Alright, so now when you go past this little line, you just start falling. Like. I'm not even touching the direction side of the controller. And, uh... Yeah, see, I have to, like... It's like you're on a hill, and it's just constantly going down. <laughs> Which always bugged me. It's a lot worse. This is the one thing that the remakes did worse, is that you fall faster on Cycling Road, and it just, like... I, I can't control it half the time. I'm just like, no, wait, go back up. Wait, no. No, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the one thing that I like better about the originals over the remakes is how fast you fall on Cycling Road. Got to use Wheezing. But it's low level. Yeah. Super effective. Crash and burn. Alright, now we're going to go all the way down this way. We're going to run into some trainers along the way. We're bikers, highway stars. The funny thing is, is that, you know, he was like, nice bike, give it to me. I'm on a bicycle. He's on a motorcycle. Why would you want my bike over yours? Yours is motorized. <laughs> you know, like... Logic, guys. Come on. <laughs> Smoked. I really like the bike theme, though. It's a really cool, fun little song. I need a little exercise. Is this a cue ball? It's a cue ball. <laughs> Alright. So because Kadabra's getting a little low on moves, on move powers, I'm going to switch over to Firo before I kill the first one, just, just so I can save Kadabra some PP. I mean, he'll still get, they'll split the experience for the first, yeah, see, Kadabra gets 205, Firo gets 205. But uh, it'll save Kadabra's moves a little bit. Because we still have quite a few trainers on this route to beat. Because we're almost done with the first side. Then we have to go all the way down the other side. Oh, Machoke. Okay. We're going to drill pack him. But uh, i got to go all the way down this side, all the way down the other side. And then there's a little bit in the middle. But I always like to go check it out, but I don't think there are any trainers unless it's different in this version. Because the last version I played of this was Fire Red, I think. So, it was a little different. Defeated cue ball. Whew, good workout. And keep going down. I'm not even, I don't even have to touch it. Nice bike. How's it handle? Why do you want my bike? Go Kadabra. I just had a whole spiel about why you bikers don't need my bicycle. <laughs> doom, doom. Yeah. 
the two evolved forms. Still one shot in them. <laughs> 46, sweet. Because whatever my highest Pokemon, whatever level they get to by the end of all these routes, then I'll go back and um, level them all up to the same level. Off camera, of course. I'm not going to make you sit through all that grinding. But, uh, yeah, it'll be... Oh, this guy's got five of them. I don't even know if I... Yeah, I have enough moves. But I'm probably going to go heal before I go down the other side, so I'll cut after this battle. But, yeah. So we're making our way through pretty quickly, actually. I'm looking at the capture time. It's only been about 10, 15 minutes somewhere in there, because there was some that I'm cutting out. But, uh... Yeah. This should be a good length episode. I know last one was kind of short. Um, but this one, at least on my end, will get pretty long. Especially once we start going back and forth. Trying to heal with the other routes. So I'm going to go back and heal really quick, and then I'll be going down the other side of Cycling Road. So, be right back. Alright, so here we go. We're going to... We're about to go down the other side. Got some guys kind of in the middle here. Ah, uh, come on. Turn. There we go. What do you want, kiddo? Oh, cue ball. Match up. I'm going to do the same thing I did before and switch Fero in beforehand. Leer. Cue ball sent a choke. His eyes are all messed up. <laughs> Like, you can't tell if you're not really looking, if you're just looking at him as, like, an overall picture. But when you focus on, like, the left eye, it's really messed up. <laughs> or I guess his right eye, but the eye that's to the left, you know. Oh, it's another cue ball. Didn't realize... And this is where I start, like, forgetting what trainers have what from the but like the first half of the game like I know what all the trainers have <laughs> and even later on like there are some of them that I can guess what type they'll have before I even approach them but like here the bikers and the cue balls they look the same so there's no real way for me to distinguish who's who yay Firo got a level Trying to learn agility. Uh, I don't need it. Because by the time I get to, like, the Elite Four and stuff and all the big stuff that I have to do at the end, like, he'll already be leveled up enough that he'll be so fast that he won't need agility. Okay, so that's a guy I already battled. We're going to go down the middle here, see if there's anything that I can see. And there's not. So <laughs> we got to go all the way back up. Alright, so after that long trek uphill, now we can go down this way. And then after we go down this way, that's the end. Let Voltorb electrify you. Oh, this is the one. There's one guy. I mixed it up. I told you that everybody had either fighting or poison type. But there's one guy who has a couple electric types. Just one guy through here made me a liar. <laughs>
Another Voltorb. I guess it's time for Doug Trio. Dig. Dig. Yeah. Ground it out. Alright, my Pokemon won't evolve. Why? Oh, I think it's... He has Machoke. And Machoke is another one, like I've talked about in these episodes before, that um, only evolves by trading. Yep. So you can level up Machoke to level 100 and it still won't evolve. I've seen quite a few like Pokemon ROM hacks that I really like that are made so you can complete the Pokedex. And um, a lot of them will either change the Pokemon so they evolve by level up or they'll make like an item. Like I actually saw one ROM hack that had like they were literally called trade stones. So any Pokemon that evolved by trade, you use the trade stone on them and then they evolve. Yeah, we got another cue ball here, it looks like. Sorry, I was focusing on talking to you and not paying attention to what's going on on the screens. <laughs> oh, yay, Fury Swipes. Well, you're doing four damage per swipe. <laughs> It's not doing much. I mean, you hit the maximum number of times, so good for you. About to use Machoke. Come on, somebody use Machamp. <laughs> What is he, a pirate now? Alright, and that's it. That is all of the trainers on Cycling Road. So now, I'm just going to go over here. There's a few, um, I forget what they're called, like bird catchers, bird tamers, whatever, down here. So I'm going to let Jolteon take care of those guys. I always check every grassy area for new Pokemon. Bird Keeper. That's what they're called. Okay. <laughs> so, these guys are going to be super easy with Jolteon because he's got a lot of special, a lot of speed, and their weakness. So, about to use Firo. Yeah. That's a big bird. <laughs> bird keeper. <laughs> this is my turf. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Another bird keeper. So it must be the last one. The last one has a Dodrio. Which is one of my favorite Pokemon, like, ever. They're super funny. And honestly, they're useful Pokemon, but again, they're one of the ones you can't catch till later. So by the time I usually get to where they are, I usually have either a full team or I already have a flying type. So, about to use Sphero. Jolteon sweeping all these guys. Forty-three. And Jolteon's gonna get a lot of levels later, especially when when we have to go on like the surfing routes and stuff. Like Jolteon's gonna be one of our strongest Pokemon. Darn. 
true call. How do you like my bird call? It was loud and it was right in my ear. <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> this is him. Dodrio. Which he looks super evil in this game. <laughs> I didn't realize that. He looks super evil. But I still one-shot him. Yeah. I had to bug you. <laughs> yeah, it was right in my ear, dude. Come on! <laughs> Alright. So this is actually Fuchsia City. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go in here. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. So I'm going to heal up right now, and then I'm going to fly back to Lavender Town. And we're going to start the whole process over again, including catching Snorlax. So, <laughs> let's see, Jolteon's up front, so we're pretty much ready for that. So, Firo is going to fly us to Lavender, because we've got a long road ahead of us. Alright, here we go. So the next part we have to do is going south from uh, Lavender Town, which will bring us around. We'll battle a few trainers, get a few things. And then, and then we'll be good. Yeah, I got a bite here. <clears throat> Fisherman. Yeah, see, Jolteon's gonna be really good for a lot of these battles. Because <laughs> there's a lot of water type trainers, um, a lot of bird keepers, and all that kind of stuff, so. Polywag. But we're going to be switching around a lot, because there are also some trainers that have a lot of different types of Pokemon. So, we're going to be able to get a couple different Pokemon some levels, probably. It's super effective. Defeated Fisherman. Tch. Just a small fry. Yeah, there are a lot of fishermen on this route. <laughs> Be patient. Fishing is a waiting game. True. True. Fisherman wants to fight. Tentacool. All the Goldeen. Destroy them all. Yeah. That one got away. And actually, we're going to use Victory Bell for a couple of these too, because... The fishing fool versus the Pokemon kid. <laughs> Is that the name of this battle? Fishing fool. <laughs> More Goldeen. There we go. <clears throat> so we're gonna razor leaf here. Whoosh. Critical? Yep. Yeah, Razor Leaf has a really high, like, critical rate, so... Too much! We're gonna keep going... I'd rather be working. Really? Uh, mm, no. <laughs> Not me. Polywag. Oh, I guess Mega Drain was up top. I meant to put Razor Leaf up top. 
Because I don't need Mega Drain right now. I haven't gotten hurt yet. Shelter, no. There we go. Whish. Critical hit. About to use Goldine. Now the only thing is, is that if he does use... Oh, I forgot about that. But that's okay. Still didn't hurt us very much, but um... If they do use Tentacool, I will switch out to Jolteon because Tentacool is resistant to grass because of his poison typing. Horsey, okay. All the Razor Leafs. Yeah. Defeated Fisherman. It's not easy. Definitely not. That's probably why he'd rather be working, because he's probably bad at training. Alright, so here we go. We have another... We have another Snorlax here. Sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. Oh. I always forget. I have to actually go into my... And? <laughs> Just waiting for that one time that it doesn't work. <laughs> Which isn't a thing, but... Alright. We're gonna do it the same way we did it last time. Actually, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. So, special rows. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently because I'm a bit stronger now. And, um... Because I'm stronger, I don't want to kill him with double kick because that could happen raise your special all you want oh no oh that sucks let's see if this does any more damage no dang it so he can still use it. Even when paralyzed. Special Greatly Rose. Alright, now I'm gonna paralyze him again. Hopefully he doesn't rest. Okay, cool. Now we're just gonna chuck great balls at him. There we go. Nope. Alright, I'll skip ahead. There it is! Alright! Sweet. So we have two Snorlax in our PC. <laughs> We're going to keep moving along here, and I think these guys have electric types, if I remember right. Electricity is my specialty. Yep. See? I knew it. <laughs> this is the rocker. Voltorb. Dig. Diglet dig. Or Doug Trio dig. Alright. Electrode. The big one. Oh, light screen? Protected against special attacks. Okay, doesn't matter because dig is physical, so. Yeah, sweet. Unplugged! What is that he's holding? Like, is it supposed to be a microphone or something? Because I can't tell. 
And then in here, I think we get another rod. I'm the fishing guru's brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yeah, sure. Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. Oh, that's the super rod. Okay, fishing is a way of life. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one. Cool. All right. Keep making our way through. Now, I don't remember what this guy has. So, you know what? I'm just going to put Blastoise up front. You never know what you could catch. Oh, I guess it's... Because of the sprite, I probably should have known it's probably another fisherman. Yep. Oh, but he's only got magic carp, apparently. <laughs> That's... But it should have evolved already. Magic Carp evolves into Gyarados at like level 20. About to use another Magic Carp. So let's go back to Jolteon, shall we? Thundershock the heck out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Lost it. What are you guarding over here? Iron. That raises defense, I'm pretty sure. So I'll use it, and I'll use it on... Let's do it on Kadabra. Yep. Sweet. And... I'll switch to Jolteon. I think we're going to start getting into the bird keepers. Have you found a moonstone? Oh no, this guy has... Maybe... Oh. Yeah, the Nidorans. That's okay. I can still... Jol Jolteon will be okay, at least for the first guy. Yeah. See? No problem. About to use Nidorino. I will switch to Kadabra because Kadabra will be super effective against it. Psybeam. Super effective. Oh, there's another level for Kadabra. Ow! <laughs> And we're still making our way down. Don't need to go in that route because there's nothing really there. Um, well, I'll keep Jolteon up front. I found Carbos in a cave once. Okay. Yeah, see? I made the right choice. <laughs> Man, that Snorlax did a lot of damage to Jolteon. Level 44, sweet. Trying to learn agility. Jolteon does not need it. He probably has the best speed of anybody else that I have. Poliwag. Horsey. Okay. Simple enough. Really easy. Just messed up. Alright, now we're gonna start getting into some new stuff. My bird Pokemon want a scrap. Scrap. Pidgey. About to use Pidgeotto. Okay. Some bigger experience. Oh, quick attack. Ah, uh, still. Not very much. 
super effective. Defeat a bird keeper. My bird combo lost? Well, yeah. That's what you get for only training one single kind of Pokemon. Junior trainer. Pidgey. They always start out with Pidgey. <laughs> Meowth? Okay, I'll keep Jolteon out, because Jolteon's the only Pokemon I have with a fighting move. One hit, that's all it took. <laughs> and Rattata. Keep Jolteon. Let him keep double kicking, or I guess single kicking in this case. <laughs> yep. About to use Pikachu. Okay, I will switch for that. Let's bring out Doug Trio. <clears throat> Dig. Ha! You missed. And another Meowth. I'll keep Doug Trio out for now, just because we can take care of it real quick with Slash. Yep, there we go. Oh, I lost. Alright, we got a couple of trainers up there. I'm pretty sure they both have, like, grass types, if I remember correctly. Sure, I'll play with you. Oh, okay. Firo can still handle that, though. And... Oh, Pikachu. Okay. I guess I was wrong about the grass types. <laughs> No, not quick attack. I think I'm gonna go back and heal after this one. Yep, I'm gonna go back and heal. And then, once I get back, then we'll just keep on right going. See you in a sec. Alright, so here we are, back where we were, and I still have Firo up front, we'll keep that for now. Battle the rest of these trainers. Do you want to, do you want to Pokemon with me? <laughs> um... I'm, I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> like I said, like, a lot of these things that they're saying are new to me because I never paid attention to them. I just kind of rolled through the game. But now that I'm doing commentary and, like, reading off the dialogue for you guys, like... Oh, I'm noticing some pretty funny stuff in here. <laughs> It's over already. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that was just too funny. Wow, your badges are too cool. Yeah, I'm just noticing like how funny some of the dialogue is, whether it's like a translation issue or <laughs> or something else. I don't know, but it's, uh, it's pretty darn funny, I must say. You and your bubble. About to use Poliwag again. So, let's see. Jolteon's 44. Let's put out Victory Bell. 
Victory Bell needs some experience here. Because, um... Jolteon's gonna have plenty to do. <laughs> Not enough. And there's some items around here, too. Like, dang it, come on. Just look down. Nope. There we go. Ah, uh, dang it, there's nothing there. It must be on the other side. Yep. Okay. I know there's items right here somewhere. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Pidgey. Alright. Now we'll switch to Jolteon. Let him single kick. About to use another Pidgey. We'll keep keep Jolteon around. And Pidgeotto. Okay. I swear there's a grass trainer around here somewhere. <laughs> but I don't know where. That's why I keep leading with Firo. Wow, you totally won! Oh, there's another biker down there. And this is gonna be a bird keeper, I'm pretty sure. The wind's blowing my way. Sure. All the blades. All the blades. And it's funny because I just released uh, an episode of I think it was Trace Memory, where the title was like, All the Birds! <laughs> Maybe I'll call this one the same thing. <laughs> it's just... But it's a Pokemon episode, so it's different. It's just All the Birds! It'll just become a running joke for a bunch of different episodes from a bunch of different series all having the same name. Just All the Birds! Yay! More levels! Another Spiro? Really? The wind turned! Okay. Another guy down here. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. Yeah, sometimes. I wish I would have kept the one from Lieutenant Surge, because Thunderbolt is, like, crazy strong. And I could have taught it to Jolteon, but at the time that I had gotten the TM for Thunderbolt, I didn't, I didn't know that I was going to catch, or, well receive Jolteon or Eevee or anything like that. I didn't know that I was going to be using him, so I sold it thinking, oh, I don't need this. I don't think I'm going to get an electric type. Like, then I got Jolteon. <laughs> so, I kind of messed up there, because there's no other way to get that TM except from Lieutenant Surge. But Jolteon might learn Thunder later, so that's a really good one. Um, it's just the accuracy is a little bit off. Not good enough. 
More birds. Yep, more birds. So many birds! And they have a lot of birds, so they use up... They use up my moves pretty quick. That's why I have to keep going back and healing and stuff. About to use Spiro. Yeah, because I've... Well, I still have quite a few left. But I, don't, I still don't know if it's enough to get through back to Fuchsia. Yeah, Firo. Eat that Thundershock. And Jolteon's becoming another one that, like, just critical hits all the time. Alright, so there's a biker right there. So for bikers, we're gonna use Kadabra. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? It's coughing. <coughs> I actually started coughing. Um, I was just going to do a short little really bad joke and then it actually made me have to cough. Biker is about to use coughing. All the coughing. So much smog. It's all because of your darn Pokemon. Dang, stripped gears. Alright. So, I need to... Oh wait, I missed a guy. All right, gotta make my way around. Hold on. But that's gonna be one for Jolteon. Because Jolteon's sprite looks like a cow in this one. Is there an item here? No. I know there's something down here, and I know what it is, I just can't remember exactly where it is. So, yep, another bird keeper. Yeah, from this point on, I mean, we're pretty much set for the game. It's not going to be very hard to get through and finish. Even through, like, the Elite Four, we're getting up to the kind of levels that we're not going to have any kind of problem. Because even if I'm under-leveled for the Elite Four, I've got a diverse enough team. Come on. I've got a diverse enough team that, um... There we go. There it is. Um, I have a diverse enough team that I should be able to beat them actually pretty easily. Um, so we're going to give this to Kadabra. We're going to raise Psychic. Because that's what I always use it on, because Psychic has such low power. And now we can make our way back around over here. We've already beaten all these guys up here. 
So we're moving into the next section. But only a few people have HMs. Birdkeeper wants to fight. All the thunder shocks. I gotta check and make sure how much power he has left. 46! Alright. So I'm gonna go back and heal one more time, and then we should be able to make it through the rest of this route. Well, I'm gonna battle one more bird keeper, I think. This guy right here. Ba -da -da -da. Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? I have. I have taught them how to fly. Yeah, so see, I can beat this guy because I have enough power left, but after this, I don't remember how many bird keepers there are. So I just want to make sure that I have enough. So after this one, I'll go heal again and then come back to where... Come right back to where I am and then keep the episode going. Alright. Shot down in flames. But I used an electric type. I didn't use a fire type. Alright, so I'll be right back as soon as I get back here. Okay, so here we are. And we're gonna keep on moving. Oh, there's a biker. Oops. And... Then it looks like another bird keeper. We ride out here because there's more room. Makes sense. Sent out coughing. All the coughing. About to use muck. Wipe out. I think this guy is far fetched. Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon? Which ones? Yeah, he is far fetched. It's like the only place you see one in the game. <laughs> I mean, you can trade for one. If you do it right. But. I don't know. I've never really been a big fan of Farfetch'd. Why? Why'd I lose? And then I think if you talk to him again. The three legendary Pokemon are all birds of prey. So he's talking about like. Articuno. Zapdos and Moltres. Got some more. Bikers over here. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Alright then, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> oh, I'm getting so tired. <laughs> coughing. Just 
Coughing and Grimer. Coughing and Grimer. Coughing and Grimer. Those are really the only poison types in Gen 1, but still, like... Variety! <laughs> oh wow. 48. Okay. We might be going up to 50 by the time the episode's over. Pokemon fight? Cool! Rumble! More bikers with more coughing and more Grimer. <laughs> <coughs> now that one wasn't a joke. <laughs> I promise. Blown away. Perfect. I need to burn some time. Biker wants to fight. Oh, what a shock. Another Grimer. <laughs> Another Grimer. <laughs> oh, okay, switching it up with a coughing. <laughs> okay. Uh. What? You? Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm not into it, but okay, let's go. You came up to me, okay? You came up to me and wanted to fight. Like, <laughs> if you're not into it, then leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to Fuchsia. <laughs> All I want. All I want. Oh no, not Fury Attack. Doing three damage per hit? Oh. And you only hit twice. I don't know how I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get through this battle. Oh man. Super effective. I knew it. You knew what? Oops, that is not what I wanted. All right, actually, I'm gonna go up here first. So I think there's at least an item up here. Where's... Oh. There he is. <laughs> Couldn't find Victory Bell for a second. There might be a trainer up here, too, if I remember right. Yep. Hello. What's cool? Trading Pokemon. Are you trying to trade, or are you just talking about it? <laughs> Ooh, Clefairy. Okay. I said trade. <laughs> Not battle. I said trade. <laughs> okay, there is an item over here. TM20? I feel like we've gotten that one before. I feel like I just got rid of it, actually. Contains rage? No. Because rage isn't as good in this generation. Like, it doesn't do the build-up power thing, I don't think. Yeah, we're almost done. We only have a few handful of trainers left. Oh, you're a little cutie. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> oh, 
And I was still going to record one more episode today, but I think I might just be too tired. <laughs> Wiggly Tough. Yeah, I'll switch. Because Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff... Wow, look at those eyes. Um, <laughs> Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff have some of the highest HP in the entire game. So they can be really hard to deal with sometimes. Especially when they do stuff like that. But luckily... You know, Jolteon has double kick. And we're fairly high level, so. You looked so cute, too. Looked? What happened? Is it because I beat you? You look gentle, so I think I can beat you. What is up with these women making assumptions about me? Come on. <laughs> and then you're going to complain when I actually beat you? It's not cool, man. Let's try... So it's one of the charging ones, apparently. It at least better have good power. I mean, it one-shot him, so that works. About to use Raichu. Okay, we are definitely switching for that. <clears throat> Don't want my flying type caught by a Raichu. Dig! Ah, dodged it, even though it was a growl. <laughs> no, wrong. Yeah, you were wrong. That's why you don't just assume that I'm gentle. <laughs> hey, kid, come on. I just got these. That's always a good sign. I just got these Pokemon. Here, fight them. It's gonna be a bunch of 25 coughings and grimers. Coughing. Oh, wheezing, okay. Is it still gonna be 25? Yep. <laughs> so I'll just keep blasting through them. I guess beaming through them. Heh. <laughs> Yay, more coughing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's a Grimer. Gotta mix it up. <laughs> this is gonna be called the Coughing and Grimer Show. It's gonna be all the birds in the Coughing and Grimer Show. Fork over all your cash when you lose to me, kid. All of it? Usually you only take half. Or... Some kind of fraction. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I've never actually, like, calculated it. Because I never really know how much money I have at any given point in this game, so... <laughs> Super effective. Yeah, see, they, this episode's going to be really long. The last one was kind of short. But this one's going to be really long, even after I cut everything, like, in between... But it'll set us up to a point where the next few episodes aren't going to be like this, where it's just like going through and beating trainers on a route so we can get somewhere. Like, we're actually going to be going places the next few episodes and, like, getting badges, beating Team Rocket, just powering through everything. That can't be true. All right. Okay, these should be the last couple. Let me try out these Pokemon I just got in a trade. Oh, trade Pokemon. But you still... I just got them! <laughs> Here we go. These are the grass types I was waiting for. <laughs> I 
super effective. Yeah, now Firo gets to get a level. Oddish. Some variety, something new. <laughs> Not good enough. I raise Pokemon because I live alone. That's sad. <laughs> Bulbasaur. We've now officially battled all of the starters. We might have already, but... Because <laughs> I know we've battled Ivysaur, but had we battled Bulbasaur before? Because I know where Squirtle is, and I know where Charmander is, but... This might be the first Bulbasaur. I'm not sure. You can tell me I'm wrong in the comments, that's fine. Oh, there's more! <laughs> almost done. We're almost there. Birds? Yep. Birds! <laughs> All the birds! Dodrio. Thundershock. Jolteon might actually be catching up to... Kadabra here. Because those are the two I've been using the most through here. Yeah. Just as I thought. Oh, you thought you'd lose? Okay. That's cool, too. When I whistle, I can summon bird Pokemon. Okay. Fetched. Pidgey, really? That's what follows all of that? So we've got to be getting close to the end. Yeah, I think this is it. This has got to be it. Please be the last one. She is the last one. Okay. Want to play with my Pokemon? Sure. <laughs> Bellsprout. About to use Oddish. Tangela. Okay. We haven't seen Tangela since Celadon Gym. Oh, I should have used Drill Pack because now he's going to use Bind. Now I can't do anything but it's only hurting me one HP at a time. Yeah. I was too impatient. If you say so. Alright, so that's it.
finally, we've gotten through everything. This is going to be a really long episode, but uh, it was worth it because now, now that we're through this, and this is always kind of my thought process when playing through this game, like now that we're done with those two routes, you know, now we can just like get badge after badge and beat Team Rocket and do all this stuff like really quickly. So we should almost be done with the game. Um, so in the next episode, like, we'll get the Fuchsia Gym Badge. We'll, um, go get what we need in the Safari Zone. And after that, we'll go back up to Saffron City. Um, beat the Rockets there. There's kind of a fighting gym there. Um, and then beat the Psychic Gym there. Um, and then after that, we gotta do a couple water routes real quick. Before we go to... Um, Cinnabar Island, that's what it's called. <laughs> to get the seventh badge, then we just have to get the eighth, eighth badge, and then Victory Road, and um, so we'll probably what we'll probably do is we'll get the eighth badge, then we'll do Victory Road and the Elite Four all in one episode, and then I'll do the after the Elite Four stuff. In an episode after that. So that's all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, com comment, subscribe, <laughs> share, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.